Hey guys, so here it is. UMP45. Now this is an SMP instead of a ProTech. I installed a ProTech in here and let my brother take some videos because he got a sponsorship with ProTech. So I put the ProTech in here and um, he got some gameplay. And then I ended up buying a SMP. I got it used. Spent about 250 on it actually. Um, mainly because the first FCU broke. So I had to spend... I think it was another 50 on another FCU. Um, so basically, the body here is TSD. Um, so, Tokyo Soldier. These bodies are not made anymore. These are the gun. Um, the TSDs or the Double Eagles. Um, it's a really, really nice body. Like, this thing is completely rubber texturized. Um, the G&G is just straight polymer. Um... So this has kind of got like the the um, the seventies look to it, and or is it the eighties? I think it's the eighties. It's the eighties. Um, kind of the gray. I don't know if you can tell it's gray instead of flat black, like the UMPs used to be. Um, you know, in the eighties when they were designed. Now they're more of a polymer flat black. Um, so I really really like the look of it. It feels so nice with the texturing. Um. I took all the rails off, all four, um, to be as light as possible. This thing is super light. Um, I did put a metal flash hider on here, and then it's just got the standard sights. Um, it has an SMP. It's a Gen 2, I believe. Um, I can go ahead and take the receiver off. It's got a folding stock, if you don't know. I am also using a JST LiPo. It is a 350 milliamp. Um, I decided to use a JST instead of like a 7.4 or 11.1 because I don't really want to, oh, I'm not even sure if the SMPs can use, uh, 11.1s or 7.4s. I know the, uh, uh, polar shards, you can adjust the battery that you're using. So basically it flips apart like this. Um, we got the SMP there and then the FCU. This FC, FCU is in good shape. I have it set for about 30 rounds a second. Um, these don't seem to go that high in FP or rate of fire. It's about, I think it's like 35 is the highest, um, which is still fast, very fast. Um, so I have it between 30 and 35. If I adjust a little bit more, it'll actually stop working. So I have a UMP nozzle in here um, for the UMPs. It's just marketed towards the UMPs. And... Um, I had to cut it a little bit, and it's not perfect, so I might end up round, uh, kind of edging that with my Dremel to make it smooth, but I don't see any issues. Um, plus, I rounded it so that it's kind of round like it would, like it's supposed to be, um, but I had to shorten it a little bit. It was too long. So, uh, originally, my nozzle was too short. Um, I had a scar nozzle that I cut too short, and then the AK nozzle was just already too short. Um, this one's metal. The Scar L was plastic, so it's kind of cool that I have a metal one, um, I guess for longevity. I lubricated it when I installed it. Um, the hop-up is stock, stock bucking, stock barrel, um, stock unit. The unit is metal, so it should not break. Um, the wire harness is brand new. I had to buy a brand new wire harness because I ripped out the connector because um first of all i was trying to put this gun together in a car at night which was an awful idea but also there's a little button you have to push for the fcu in order to get the data cable out but oh well i spent 20 on a new data cable and it's brand new um so i spent about 250 on this all total um and then a the small jst lipo so when i hook it up I just put the FCU down in here, and then I put the data cable wires down there with it. It actually just shoves down in there. And then the LiPo sits literally right here on the edge of the stock. Go ahead and show you that. Right there. And then I just shut the stock. I had to keep the door out. Um, because the pin wouldn't go in for some reason. Um, but anyways, that goes like that, and just shuts. And it's solid. So, it fires on safe, which is no big deal to me. But then, 
you go to semi, can you hear it? And then full auto. Okay, so um, the trigger pull, it's short, but you have to push it because it's it'll break in, trust me. I put some heat shrink on the top of the trigger, so basically you're kind of fighting the heat shrink, um, so it'll break in eventually. But I can't fire it super fast. See, that's the fastest I can do it, but again, it'll break in, but the trigger pull is, I'm not using much, uh, I'm not straining myself when I'm going to shoot it fast. So, and then full auto if I really want to light somebody up. Um, the tanks that I'm using, go and show you, I have a Gorilla, 48 cubic inch, 3000 PSI, non-SLP, so, um, what is it? SL is what some people call it. Some people have heard say uh, LPR. L, yeah. Um, and then a Ninja 3000 PSI 48 cubic inch, just like the first one. Um, both of these are non SLP and both have air passes. And then my brand new third tank I just got recently. It's not brand new. Um, it has an air pass too, and it's a 48 cubic inch 3000. So I have three of the same tanks pretty much. I use a Ninja regulator. And, uh, I think it's a amped line. Doesn't say amped on it. Oh, it does over here. It's an American flag colored one. I have it set for about 100 PSI right now. 110. Um, I'll go ahead and dry fire it. Um, I'm actually probably going to put some ammo through it. Um, I will mention the magazines suck. These are double eagle magazines, and these are garbage. I have four of them. I brought three brand new ones for like 10 each, and they suck. I get like maybe 15 shots off, and then I have to wind the mag. And that's on summer. In full auto, I get like one burst, and then I have to wind the mag. So, but I don't get any double feeding anymore because I fixed that. So, semi. Full auto. Okay, so that's that. That's check. All right, that's probably at about a hundred. Would you say? Probably at about a hundred psi. Yeah, doesn't matter though. I mean, I'll run it between a hundred and a hundred and twenty. Depends on. If I'm playing outdoors, I'll probably bump it up to a hundred and twenty. Um. I am using .25 BBs. Um, it overhops a little bit. It, it's either underhops or overhops. So, which isn't too big of a deal. I mean, overhopping isn't bad. I get more range out of it. Um, it's not overhopping like super bad. So I fill the magazine up and I wind it completely. I'm gonna wind it fully until it starts to click and just to prove that these magazines suck. I can't believe I wasted it. What was it like? It was about 25 on three. Okay, so there. Can you hear that? It's full. So when I go to and put the magazine in, it loses like most... Oh, no, it didn't. That time it did not lose most of its tension. Since it doesn't feed very well, it kind of sounds like it's shooting slower. Because it doesn't feed all that well. But when you do a burst, you can tell. I mean, and it feeds on the burst. It shoots really fast. That's what you get, Evike. Thanks a lot, Evike. For sending us that box with zero padding in it. Alright, I'm going to go and shoot out the window now. Alright, let's just do semi because it only feeds on semi, really. It's quite loud, too, when there's actually ammo in it. Um, I wanted that. I wanted it to be loud. I'm not about quiet guns. Now it's under hopping. Oh, the hop up got moved. When I took it apart, I must have moved the uh, 
style. Okay. And it's a little high. Um. Oh, that's pretty dang good right there. I'd say. Max range 200 feet. It's not super consistent. If I shoot fast, I'll, you know, it's kind of. But if I shoot slow, it actually hops the BBs. Occasionally, I'll get one that doesn't go as far. But again, it might be part of break in. Um, Trifle auto. Yeah, see, it just doesn't feed. Um. Plus, I'm almost out of ammo. How much air do I have left? So I just went through about 500 PSI in my tank. Should go and shoot it some more real quick. I'm gonna fill the mag all the way up. I'm not gonna shoot it all the way, but um, with a full mag, you think, oh, it should feed, you know? These mags hold a lot of ammo too. I think it's 400. Alright, this mag is pretty much full. Put the mag in before I wind it, but still when I do so. So yeah, I mean this thing is super duper light. Um, the magazine to wind it, you have to push, you have to crank backwards. If it was forward, it would be much easier because you'd be able to do this. But instead I'm like this. Um, I don't know I'm going to be paid tomorrow, because tomorrow's the last day of work. So I think I'm just going to order a bunch of G&G &G uh, mid-caps for these, but they only hold 50 BBs. So I'm probably going to, I don't know, I may buy G&G &G high caps, and just buy, maybe buy one and see if it works better than these. Or maybe it's just UMP high caps in general, and I'll have to buy mid-caps. Yeah, so it's not the it's not the most accurate and consistent gun um, with the hop up unit, but it's not awful. Plus break in guys, um, and plus this is probably going to be built made mainly for CQB, um, but I can bump it up to 120 psi and uh, do outdoors, and people will feel it. it probably I haven't chronoed it yet, um, but with the nozzle, I'll tell you the nozzle correct length. It's busting through. See if it goes through two sides of cardboard with no tape. Yeah, it's going through two sides of cardboard at 100 psi. Yeah, it's going through the cardboard and hitting my my, uh, my um, closet. So it's going through two sides of cardboard. So you tell me, uh, with .25s, it's got to be over 300 with two fives, and that's where I wanted it. Um, and that's not at 120 psi. So I could probably. Whoops. Just hold it like this. Is this how you're supposed to do it? See, it stopped feeding there, and then you heard the BBs feed. This mag suck. I won't feel this at an actual, like, game, but I'll probably kick it in a, using a backyard game with these mags and just... Because I can still use some. I see how the magazine just detents, de-wound itself already. It's like half the, I get to shoot like one third the amount of a M4 high cap. Alright, you tell me how many rounds I should get off. That's got like 40 BBs so far, 30-40. Like 40 BBs. Wow. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. So FPS is where it should be. It's not double feeding anymore. I haven't gotten a single double feed on this video. Um, range and accuracy and consistency is okay. It's not amazing. I might upgrade the hop up unit eventually, but and once in a while there will be a jam. And I think that's because the mag is when I winded it, it starts to shoot again. 